hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install my sql server application on windows 11 easily now first open your google chrome browser now search for my sql installer and you can see the link over here dev.mysql.com click on it so this is currently the latest version of my sql so you can see for windows x86 32 bit so let's download the community version over here so click on download no thanks just start my download and it should start downloading now the web community version does not bundle any mysql application but downloads only the mysql products you choose to install but the second version which we are downloading comes with everything successfully downloaded now let's close this close the browser now open your download folder so you can see my sql here so double click on it and it should start initiating the installation now we are going with the default setup which installs everything we need so click on next so you can see for my sql to work you need to have visual studio on your machine so if you don't have it it should automatically install by itself so we are okay with that so click on next so let's continue agree to that and you can see everything that will be installed my sql server workbench shell router and many other packages now click on execute and it should begin the installation So guys, everything has been successfully installed. Now click on next. So here's the product configuration. So let's click on next. So we just have to follow up the prompt. Just leave the default options over here and then click on next. Next. Set up my SQL root password, which you will need later. So make sure you keep this safe. Now click on next. Click on next again. And then click on execute now click on next enter a root password which we are going to use to connect to the server now take note this is the password we used earlier so if you use anything other than this it won't work out next and then execute completed now click on finish next finish now this is because of the multiple packages we installed on our MySQL. So you can see the workbench application is now up. Click on local instances over here and then enter your password which we used earlier. And then OK. And we are in. Now you should be able to start creating and querying database through the MySQL workbench. So congratulations on your installation. If this was helpful or you want more videos like this, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.